Hey, how's it going? My name is Jackie Fish and welcome back to some Kingdom Come Deliverance. Now we are finally back in Kingdom Come Deliverance as the new DLC from the Ashes comes out I believe tomorrow or even today when this video goes live and I will 100% be covering it. So hopefully you guys are looking forward to me playing the new DLC. I've tried to stay away from like any spoilers or anything from it. Um, however, I do know you do get control of this city up here, uh, Provola bit or so have you pronounced that my pronunciation in this game was never on point but you get control of this and you have to build it up and create buildings do missions and basically become like the the bailiff of the town like you're in charge of it which should be a lot of fun however i did read that you do need a lot of cash uh for obviously to build these buildings and to you know, settle arguments and stuff so because of that i thought i would jump on you know the day before the dlc goes live and basically just do some missions try and kill some bandits get some money etc and just try and you know build up our wealth a little bit because we're not the richest person in the world we do have you know 2,000 Russians which I'm not going to complain about but we could definitely do with more so that's what I think today's episode is going to be and hopefully you guys are really really looking forward to as there's some uh, pretty awful uh, tearing right there uh, hopefully you guys are looking forward to the new DLC because I had so much fun playing this game when it first came out this is probably for me my game of the year hands down it was just so well done Done. I enjoyed like every single moment I had in this game. The story was amazing, the acting, the actual kind of like, I don't know, it was just like there hasn't been like an RPG like this that really took uh, like so much kind of in-depth look at like fighting and the way the story worked. You know, you weren't just some OP dude from the get-go. You know, you had to kind of tone your skills, which I just really, really liked. And the quest was so much fun as well. So we have a mission, I think, from the last time we played this game, which was probably a pretty long time ago. Uh, and basically, we have to go over here and kill some bandits uh, for... I can't remember who. Oh, we're in the ditch as well. I can't remember who it was for, but I think it was for someone at uh, Townburg. And I'm not sure if these are going to be... Uh, bandits or if they're going to be the oh my god I can't remember what they're called the uh, Hungarian soldiers the Cumans of course the Cumans it's been far too long um, I guess I'm kind of glad I'm doing this episode as well because if I didn't do this episode I'd be super super rusty for for from the ashes DLC uh, which no one obviously wants and it's just so cool revisiting all of these areas that we, you know, we fought over not so long ago. You know, I remember riding down here in my first episode, running away from the Hungarian army. It's just so cool. So their camp should be in here somewhere, right? Yeah, off to my left and just basically in here. Okay, well, we can go off on foot now. We'll leave good old pebbles right here. I guess we'll draw our sword. Oh, maybe not actually for now. Oh, God, our sword's bloody as well. We can, we can go now right now, because the visor's cool. I don't know how I'm going to fare with my sword play, because I have not fought with a sword in this system in a long time. So hopefully we don't get absolutely ruined. Oh, there's someone. Hello. I mean, we're not exactly a stealthy character. So yeah, if you are completely new to my channel, and you've never seen my playthrough, um, I did a very much a uh, honourable playthrough, where, you know, no matter what the circumstances were, we would be, we would take the... We would take the honourable option, uh, whether that meant we fought in a hundred dudes. Oh god! We'll punch him to death. We'll punch him up a bit. He's, we need to get our sword out as well. At least it's a nice one v one, just to get us on the go. Make sure we uh, practice our energy. Yeah, cool. We're so strong at this point that we can really do almost anything. Is anyone else coming? I don't think they are, so we'll put our sword away and just loot this dude. So we do want to try and uh, loot as much stuff as we can. Uh, I probably shouldn't be, like, slaughtering these guys then. Because, obviously, the more we attack them, the more we damage their gear. Which is never great. Uh, that's probably all we need from this dude. Oh, no, his boys are coming. They heard me. Well, I heard someone. We're just, you know, we're just a bush now. But yeah, at this point, we are super, super strong. Um, I might try out the hardcore mode at some point as well. It could be kind of fun because I know you do, it does make it a lot more difficult. You have to worry about food. Can I change the hard... Oh, yeah, I'm here. They, they found me. All right, here. Oh, you're a bit more heavily armored, my dude. Come on, let's go. Mm. 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 
Ow. Well, luckily, there's only one of you. You're gonna fight? Yeah, he definitely does have more of the energy and he can he can withstand my hits a lot more than with them basic dudes. One of the things I loved about the combat system in this is it's not always another dude here as well. Is it's Nice, it's him dead, and now we can take out these guys on the aggression. It's not so much like it's not all as obvious as it is. Oh, there's an archer there as well. We're gonna hide quickly. Um, yeah, so it's not as obvious where you have to strike the enemy. Normally, it comes down to. Oh, he hit me as well. Absolute bastard. That's one dead. Come on, kill him. Finish him off. There we go. Yeah, it's not as obvious where you have to strike. Uh, this didn't combat, apparently. So no one left? Are you not entertained? Yeah, sorry, I got sidetracked like a million times there because I didn't want to die. But it's not as obvious where you have to strike people in this game. Uh, normally, when you strike someone, you just want to keep on hitting them. But you really actually have to pay attention to where their shield is, where their sword is. And you want to try and go from the opposite direction to where that is. So that you can get damage him. Because if you just keep on striking where their shield is, even if you've managed a perfect dodge or something, you're still not going to be hitting them. We're picking up a lot of good stuff here to sell, uh, which is going to be great. We are, we are over encumbered right now, but that's fine. I'll just stick this hopefully all onto my horse, um, which will be perfect. I'm only going to take stuff which is r are really worth like a lot of, of groshens. I don't really care too much for like stuff that's only worth like 50 groshens. I'm sure I will survive. Uh, but we're going to loot all of these guys, just pick up as much stuff. And with human ears, it also worth like 25 groshens as well. So it's definitely worth it, even though that's quite barbaric to, to do that. But hey, it's worth it. And the, this dude over here, the, the guy we were fighting for a little while, is going to have some pretty good armor on, I would imagine. Even though I probably destroyed most of it, but oh well. Um, and then we'll have to probably go back to Retay because I imagine Retay is probably one of the only places that has enough money to, to buy all of this stuff. His sword must be good as well. Hungarian Saber. Yeah, his sword must be decent. Is that everyone? I think that is right. Yeah, yeah. So let's go ahead and move some stuff onto our horse um, and we will uh, hopefully be okay. So let's do that. And then what is it to move to horse X? Basically, yeah, basically just want to move all of this. Literally all of this. Hopefully our horse can handle it. I zoom just about. What does he do? It just is it okay still? Literally can take like a couple more things. Hopefully just enough to get us unencumbered. Yeah, basically. And we've still got all of this stuff on us as well. We should be making an absolute killing here. So we want to end up obviously at Townburg. So let's just go ahead and fast travel there. If it will let me. Is it gonna let me? Come on, how do I fast travel? Don't I know to click it? Yeah, go, fast travel, E. There we go. Oh, God, I don't know what happened there. Uh, but yeah, we'll just fast travel back to Townburg, uh, hand in this quest, give him the human ears and stuff, and then we will uh, probably go back to Retay, sell this stuff, and maybe go out on another mission, see if we can find any more bandits to kill. Maybe just look around Retay, see if there's any missions to be held. Because that's one of the things I love about this game. You can just walk around and you're bound to find something to do. Uh, but we will go find Captain Robar. It does look like he is in the keep. Yeah, what's happening here? I downloaded the, uh, the texture pack and it seems like it's uh, a little bit messed up. I'm not going to lie. Seems like it's a little bit messy here. So this is... Yeah, I downloaded the HD texture pack, which clearly didn't work. But we'll just ignore that. It's on, right? We've got a graphic settings, uh, HD textures on. Confirm, maybe that's it. We'll turn on the HD textures and see see what happens because that clearly wasn't working as intended, right? If I turn around, will it be, no? Yeah, I have no idea what's going on here. Uh, more well, <laughs> it's, it's just the first time, like I didn't suffer doing any bugs when I was playing the uh, game uh, in my Let's Play. I don't think I suffered a single one. Where the hell are you, Captain Robard? 
Oh, you're all the way over here? Why the hell are you outside the city? I guess we'll, we'll travel. I'll also clean my sword as well whilst we're here. That's something you guys were just constantly hounding me to do, was just like, Jackie, clean your sword, clean your sword. We actually have to, like, charge our way over. Um, I doubt this trader will have anything worth that we can uh, sell to him. Thank you. I'm glad I came back. It's, you know, Townberg is where we kind of really got our start in life. Obviously, the epic siege of Townburg with the trebuchet. I just really can't wait for the next, like, big DLC. It's like, because from... Well, he's like, got his horse out here and everything. Because from the ashes seems like a nice little DLC to tide us over. But I, I'm really looking forward to, like, the next huge battles. Or, like, huge siege battles. Like, Kingdom of Heaven style. What are you doing, Captain Robard? You out... You are out here, right? What... Is he just loving life? Like, going on a nice little stroll? Hello? Don't Mr. Tell me, have you? That's nasty. <laughs> what, are you, what are you up to, Captain Robard? You seem like you're having a bit of a mare. Let's just go ahead and speed this up. I don't know what's going on. This is literally the first time I've seen really any glitches in this game. Okay, cool. Well, I'm going to save it and reload the game. And I'll be back, hopefully, um, when this is uh, is properly sorted out, I guess. It must be something to do with the HD textures messing it up. Okay, so it doesn't look like I can fix that. I don't really know why that is the case. Uh, like, he just seems like he's stuck in the ground and the textures of Townburg are just not working. Maybe I'll try verifying my game cache on Steam or whatever. But, you know, whatever, that's fine. We're going to go back to Retay and sell our gear, try and make some money. And then we'll just wander around Retay, see if Sir Hans has a good mission for us or maybe even, um, maybe even anyone else does. Uh, also, we'll do all of these Wayfarer stuff as well, because they are kind of cool. Where is the Wayfarer? Hello? Anyone here? You just stopped me off my, my nice little march in the pouring rain, and there's no one even here. Or am I just missing you? Is it like an ambush? I honestly can't see anyone, so... But there must have been someone here to stop me, right? How weird. Oh, he's right here. You just can barely see him. Hey, so fellow. Do you want to earn a few extra coins? I do indeed. We've met before, haven't we? Probably. I think, yes, we have. So, you know how it goes. The bet is five groceries. Oh, we're not even doing this because I oh, no, am. Never I, I, I just can't do riddles. I mean, I can, but like, I'm just not even going to embarrass myself because I'll be here for like 45 minutes going. Oh, what does it say? Oh, is it? Is it this? I, can't, I don't know. Uh, 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 and it will just be very, very boring to watch. So we will just go ahead and uh, just jump back to Rete. Uh, probably going to ignore this one because it's probably the same dude. And I honestly don't want to uh, you know, waste us any time. We need to make as much money as we can for the From the Ashes DLC. It's also nighttime as well. Um, so we're going to have to wait until daytime to, uh, to rack anything up. Um, so maybe we'll go down to the, um, yeah, maybe we'll go down to the bathhouses, have a nice little day, uh, with the, the wenches and stuff. So let's make our way over there. So this is, like, the, the ending of the campaign, um, in, like, the missions which are popping up right now. It's to do with, um, you know, just kind of walking off to wherever they're heading at the end of the game. So just feel free to ignore that. Because I never, like on this save, I never finished, finished the campaign. Just got that last little bit of a cutscene. Because I wanted to carry it on um, and mess around. But yeah, we'll go to the bathhouses, get ourselves a nice wench. And also, um, maybe clean our gear and stuff. Oh my god, it is dark. You guys definitely did complain. I don't really know what more I can do to make it brighter because the game is just very dark and I, I know them night missions were an absolute bitch to, uh, to, to show off on YouTube because it was just so dark all the time. It was a real, real shame. These wenches are going to let me have a, a sleep and stuff, right? Um, no, I want to... Where's the, where's the head bath wench? Private area. I just want. I just want a shower. And a, a bed to sleep in. Is that too much to ask for? Is that too much to ask for? 
There we go. Perfect. Uh, a great bed here. Is she... <laughs> Act like nothing is out of the ordinary God, here. You understand? I don't know what you're talking about. I'm just here getting my nine hours of sleep. You know, preparing myself for the day ahead. Uh, you know, it's not my fault if someone else wants to sleep here. Not really my problem. So they also announced a, a nice roadmap as well for the game. Uh, with modding support coming next year, which is kind of a shame. I was hoping that modding support would come a lot sooner than it than it is, which is a shame because I know the Seven Kingdoms mod is uh, working, you know, well, can't really do much until they get full-on modding tools, which is a shame. Uh, use a bar. I'd there like we to, go. Uh, and what is it? Everything. Everything. I'd like a um, uh, private bar for two. That can be arranged, but you'll pay in advance. What is it? A measly, a measly forty right. groschens. Oh. I'm sure you'll be extremely satisfied. Me too. Oh. Jesus! Oh. 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 I swear these sound effects weren't in the game last time. Oh, and a whole hour as well. My man, Henry, an entire hour. Jesus! God, sure. Yeah, oh. you, you should be paying me for an entire hour. Bloody hell! Absolute what is it? get out of my way as well. Um, I'm a run and gun now. Let's get out of here. Jesus, Henry, you absolute monster. So let's go and sell our gear now. What does this sign mean? I don't know what this thing on the top left means. I've got some money, apparently. Did someone steal my cash? Oh, well. I have no idea what that means. I guess I could look right if I go on to player. Oh, it's leveled up as well. Nice. Leveled up in strength. I mean, there's not really much more. I guess Mule is just nice. Um, agility leveled up as well. Is it Fast Strike was good? Your attacks will demand 30 less stamina, but also cause slightly less injuries. No, that's kind of nice, actually. Yeah, let's go fast strike. I don't really care. 30% less stamina usage is quite a lot when you're just smacking on someone. Vitality as well. Um, marathon map? Oh, berserk. As soon as your health falls to a minimum, you go berserk. Your stamina regenerates four times as fast. Wow. That's crazy good. Uh, let's pick up that then. So if we ever do run into a situation where we can't fight anyone off, we can just pop that. Uh, alchemy leveled up. We don't really care about that. Herbalism. No, we don't care about them still skills, at least right now. Maybe we'll need to increase them, uh, you know, for, for from the, the Ashes DLC. But we're probably just going to, uh, you know, do that when it comes to it. You know, having them in reserve. That Berserk skill seems so good. Basically, if we ever get to a point where, you know, we're in a little bit of trouble, we can just pump that bad boy out and go ham. Um, so, yeah, let's go and sell some of these uh, weapons. Barter with them. Get some good money. Uh, hopefully there's some new weapons added as well um, into the game. Because that would be really, really cool. Uh, so let's go and sell. We have a decent amount of axes, weapons, daggers. And we want to keep that dagger actually. The dagger is good for stealth kills. Um, we want to get rid of the saber. That, and I think that's everything. We want to keep the warhammer just in case. Okay, well that's an extra. That's only 100 gold I guess. Oh, we have our horse as well. But from what I remember, most of our gear came from armor. I don't think I picked up much of the weapons. They're not worth as much as the armor. So let's go do our horse. Let's literally take like everything. Um, I guess we can sell coupon, uh, Copon's bow as well because this one's better. Yeah, let's, let's just move that. All of, oh, we actually do have some swords. We actually have a really good sword bear as well. Um, and then I guess we just move all of this. We'll leave the captain helmets for now. And we'll just take all of this stuff. Uh, some stuff does need to be repaired as well. We'll leave that knight's armor there. God, we have so much stuff here. Hopefully they'll have enough money to, to, to pick it all because... Maybe we can even buy some stuff as well to try and do it. I don't think they're going to have enough cash to, to buy this. So, I mean, hopefully they will. Wait, why am I in combat? Yo, what's up? I'm telling you, surrender. Why? What did I do? What's up? Are you going to give yourself up? What did I do? 
What did I do? I will teach you what, what clear off doing? means. You should have thought twice about what you're doing. That'll land you a fat. Okay, I guess I'll pay. I mean, it's only 15 groschens, so who Is cares? What right. the hell did I do? Did I run and gun? Or what? Hey. I'm, s I'm, I'm so confused what's Good going on. All I'm trying to do is sell my gear. Like, is that too much to uh to ask for? God, this gear is worth nothing to this vendor. Holy crap. Why is it worth so little? Did I just unequip something of mine? I think I did. I mean, this is going to be uh, some good gear, I guess. Like, it's money's money at the end of the day. But yeah, this stuff is selling for, like, nothing. I was kind of expecting a little bit more. Not that he really has much more to even offer us, um, which is kind of funny. That we're, we're literally, like, yeah, literally, he can't buy the rest of our gear we have to sell to him. Is there anything else we can buy which maybe is a bit better than, than our gear? I mean, this armor we already have one right. So it's not even going to help us out. These seem a little bit better though. But is it just because our body plate's a little bit destroyed? Probably is the case, right? Uh, yeah, the durability is not great. Yeah, so if we if we kind of repair that, it's fine. But yeah, that, that's literally like another two grand right there. I guess uh, yeah, we, we can give them an advantage. Let's talk about the price. Hmm. I mean, I did not mean to haggle. Uh, we'll just offer that. Here you are. Well... So we made two grand there, not too bad. We're still a bit over encumbered. Uh, we still have some swords to sell as well. So we'll go back to the other swordsmith and we will uh, hand over the rest of our gear. And that should give us a nice five grand to go into the next DLC. I, I kind of was aiming for 10 grand, but you no, know, whatever. Um, it's not the end of the world. Oh, I need to pick up um, the last stuff from my horse, right? I have a few more. No, I, I did pick up everything, right? Apart from his bow as well, which I guess I'll move to my inventory. And then for my... Um, yeah, I guess I'll send back all the stuff I'm not wearing as well onto my horse. Because we'll have to find someone else to try and sell all this stuff to. They're pretty expensive stuff as well. We still have all these spurs. And yeah, we have a lot of stuff we can uh, we can give over to someone um, and sell. So we, we probably have another like five grand. Uh, well, not five grand. But uh, we have another decent amount of money here for sure. Uh, so let's sell our weapons. We'll sell that. We'll keep the dagger. Could sell these swords, but they're so good. I'm probably just going to keep one, like, in reserve. So, there we go. If we uh, sell that now, if we take a look at it, we have four four 4.2 grand. We've got another grand left in our savings for when we do dive into the, the next DLC. So, cool. I'm going to end the episode here. Kind of a short one, but, you know, uh, you know, I felt like for this one, it's kind of cool just to have, uh, you know, just kind of like a short episode. Next episode, I guess, will be from the Ashes DLC. So, if you are looking forward to that, be sure to drop a like and a comment down below. Let me know know what you want to be seeing me do first in the new DLC, whether it's kind of just fully upgrading my city, um, just going ahead and uh, settling disputes, doing side quests, let me know. Uh, I, I really look forward to doing that and I guess I will see you guys in the next one.